In this video, we'll use mathematical modeling to solve a word problem. So here's a typical example. A rectangle is inscribed in a semicircle of radius 2. Let P be x, y, and that, let that be the point in quadrant 1 that is a vertex of the rectangle and is on the circle. Now that's a lot of terminology, but really everything we need to know is given in that picture there. So what we see is we've got this semicircle, and we've got a rectangle that's created inside of the semicircle. And what we're interested in is the area of that rectangle. Well, first things first, we know that area is going to be base times height. So it's a good idea when you're trying to start attacking a word problem is to write down something that you know, where they're asking for the area. So what do we know about area of a rectangle? We know it's base times height. Now, that b and that h there are the wrong variables in the sense that they're asking for this as a function of x. So now let's look at the picture and see what we can figure out x is the x-coordinate of our point P, which means that this horizontal distance is x. And that means that this horizontal distance here, by the symmetry of the picture, is also x. And the y-coordinate of our point is this vertical distance, so that's our y. And so in fact, when we look at area equals base times height, the base is x plus x, and the height is y. So in other words, our area is 2x times y. So we're getting closer to what we're looking for. So we went from base times height, now we have 2x times y. But what we'd really like is for us to just have a function of x. We don't want to have a y in our uh, function here. So what's the relationship between y and x? Well, if we look at the problem more closely, what we'll see is that y is equal to the square root of 4 minus x squared. So we can simply substitute that into our formula, and we end up with 2 times x times the square root of 4 minus x squared. And now that formula has only x's in it, and so that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, now there's a second part to this problem. In part b, they want us to graph the function a of x, and for which value of x is a largest. So remember from the previous slide that we've already got our formula. It's a equals 2 times x times the square root of 4 minus x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug that into our favorite graphing calculator. But when we type a function into our graphing calculator, there's something additionally that we need to know, and we need to know a window. So the most important thing for a window is what should the x range be? For what range of x values should we graph this function? Well, what we can again see from our picture is that this horizontal distance is x. So x can't be negative in this picture. There will be some word problems where x is allowed to be negative, but not this one. x has to be bigger than or equal to 0. What about the biggest x could ever be? Well, notice that this horizontal distance is 2. It's from 0 to 2. And x can't get bigger than that, because if x were bigger than 2, then the rectangle wouldn't be inside the semicircle. So that means that x has to be between 0 and 2. And that's what we're going to type into our calculator. So we're going to type in our formula, and we're also going to tell the calculator to graph from x equals 0 to x equals 2. And when we do that, the graph that we get looks something like this. So this is a graph of y equals a of x. And we're looking for the maximum value, the value where the, the area is the largest, and we can eyeball it and see that it's right around there. If we were actually using a calculator here, we could use our trace function and figure out a little bit more accurately where it is but we can estimate that our maximum is around 1.4. So we could use the calculator's tools to try to get a better estimate there. Also, if you continue on and take calculus, you'll learn how to find out exactly where that maximum is.